just want to show you a quick technique for bending rebar using three quarter inch galvanized pipe. This will really only work for a simple bend. Um, doesn't have to be 90 degrees, it could be whatever really. Um, but you you could actually do multiple bends on two ends, but you couldn't do a, a full square with this method, I don't think. So I cut all the lengths for to make the uh, four foot by one foot L shaped rebar, and um, it's 30, it's up to 35 in here now. So it's warmed up, and actually I don't feel bad. Uh, my hands would get cold touching the metal. It sucks the electrons right out of your hands. I need to bend it four foot by one foot, and this is a four foot length of uh, three quarter inch galvanized pipe. I put a cap on the end. It will destroy your pipe. This pipe is destroyed on this end, so I'm just going with it now. It's all torn up, if you can see that. So word of warning, don't let it go on the bare pipe. Uh, I think it takes like 20 bucks too, that's significant. Um, anyway, so this will be my pipe bender or rebar bender pipe, whatever. Actually, I could still use it as a tool handle because I preserved the other end and this will just be the rough end. Let me show you my method. To save this pipe, um, I put some stuff on the end that I can sacrifice, like see this guy? This is about one foot, it's actually an inch goes in an inch too deep so I, I take it out a half inch. Put this guy on here. This is the hardest part in the beginning. I put my foot as close as I can to the to the uh, hinge here or where it's going to bend. And then I grab as far as I can away from here to get the maximum torque. Stabilize. It always wants to slide back. Okay, now I can do A smarter person than me would make some kind of jig so you would know, but I, that might be hard to do actually, I don't know. So you can see that is a simple, quick, uh, and very cheap technique. As long as you don't <laughs> destroy your pipe like I did, protect it with this, something like that. And you can see I destroyed that nipple. Probably don't need that. You, you're gonna, whatever's on the end, you're gonna sacrifice. So think about it that way. This is probably a better tool for bending that rough piece, but. I'm working on a project inside a passive solar greenhouse here that's attached to my home. Inside here we're gonna have, is gonna be a, a nursery and solarium, a nurse solarium. And uh, working on a wall, that's actually the beginnings of a footer. I've been negotiating how to work that out as a footer, but as you can see, here's my four foot by one foot rebar pieces. That'll be in the grout chambers of the CMU wall. I'll be making more videos in my progress on this uh, passive solar greenhouse. So please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, like it below. If you don't like it, you can also unlike it. It's somewhere down there, I forget where.